gentlemen, 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 bring them in early, bring them in often. Mikey V, Giuseppe D, where would you rather be Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday <laughs> evening, whenever you're listening to this Tuesday morning, other than the brilliantly dumb show? Um, fellas, we got a new location for Mikey V, which is throwing me off a, a little bit. Cutsy with the Capri Sun, which is something you just don't see out of your normal 36 year old, but something mm. that you do see from Giuseppe D. Um, mm. Talk to me, boys. Joseph. Hey, Mikey. What's up, buddy? Live from the living room couch. You know, uh, you know, the cave is still under construction. I will you know, this phone, man, uh, this guy, <laughs> I, I mean, it's when are we going to, this is crazy, bro. Everybody's, I'm getting messages about the cave. Me and Giuseppe were at the pool at the hotel the other day and a fan came over to ask mm-hmm. when the fuck Mikey V's cave was going to be done. Did yeah, he not, Joe? Not, yeah, he's not lying. The no, listen to that. No, when this is happening. It's crazy, bro. This is crazy. Sheet rocking starts this week. So, Sheet. what in God's name are you? Yeah, what's doing? going on down there? It's Joe. You said it the other day on the golf course. You guys, you guys don't have any concept of what it's like to do work like this. You guys don't have don't. any concept. I, look, and I'll neither. Be, and I'm, you know, I was never built for manual labor. And 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 neither was I, Joe. But I mean, the fact. Uh, you that look. I, I, would yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I you look like you'd be one of those workhorses <laughs> like you could carry the plow back in the old oh, days. I could. Oh, I could. I oh, could. for I sure. Could, I could tow the plow. I could tow the plow. <laughs> if duty calls, if duty calls, you rest assured I'll answer. That's for sure. Um, you know, and I, I will say that I think if we're being honest here, and I know that it's going to ramp back up because it always does and it always prevails, but something that's been very upsetting to me, and again, understandably so, is I do think the Gambler's Digest group chat <laughs> has has taken a hit from Mikey V's man cave and, and everything that he's got going over there on the palace. Uh, now I know we're working, you know, we're doing a lot of Bob the sports, but I do. You think guys, you guys are. I got to side with Bear place, Down. Bob? I got to side with Bear Down here, Bob. I'm sorry. I think we've been we've been pretty absent, uh, and and part of it is 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 listen. We, I feel like like the Rolling Stones last two months with the amount of travel that has been done throughout the country, outside of the country, like here and there, everywhere. It's just been nonstop. I think it's been, you know, there's been no sports. There's been no football. There's been really nothing for us to, to really rally around. I mean, we have the Yankees, which is great, but I just feel like, you know, part of it, Bob, is we've got a lot going on. Mikey V's, Mikey V's been there. I, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to blame the, the, you know, the construction yet. Now I do want to see, I do want to see the place come together before like I'm, I'm a little concerned now because I feel like it's going to be a mad dash to get it ready before football season. Oh, it's not that far it's away. Going be, it's going to be a mad dash for college. And football you should almost have like some kind of contract. If Cafone doesn't finish before football season, <laughs> you get like 25%. And by the way, off I want to, I want to like put that. this on the record. I've been very hard with Cafone and I do love Cafone. I really do. He was a, it was a happy hour guy. That's how I know him. He was on the Patreon happy hours. If Cafone delivers, and it sounds like I know Mikey V trusts him, which gives him a lot. If Cafone delivers, he's going to get the credit that it's due. But I'd be lying to you if I told you that man cave wise, both me and Joseph are, I, mm-hmm. I think, are very, very concerned about being ready for football time. Do you know how many games we lost when Mikey V would be in the living room? A lot. Yeah. And it shouldn't even be just us, Bob. It should be all the listeners who are willing to ride the prize picks because, quite frankly, Correct. we're talking hundreds. And hundreds, if not thousands of people are about to be impacted <laughs> in dollars. a negative connotation if this if this man cave is not constructed soon. I know they say Rome wasn't built in a day, but this isn't That's Rome. Right. It's a basement cave, which I would hope to be. I think it's a little bit more than I that. I think it's a little more than that, Joe. But, uh, you know, again, so the proper steps have to be followed. You know, you have to make sure your waterproofing is done correctly. You have to make sure the flooring was done correctly. Now. The framing is completely done. So everything has been completely framed. The sheet rocking is going to start at the end of the week. Once the sheet rocking is done, then it's just laying the vinyl flooring, the vinyl plank flooring and painting. That's it. That's Once it that's done, I'd say I would inside, be, inside of two and a half weeks. I wouldn't want to be. Oh, that's, that's, that's uplifting to hear. Yeah, I, would, yeah. I would not want to be 
were a worker at Mikey V's house. I, I feel bad <laughs> for Cafone because you know this guy is keeping inventory on everything. Oh. I wouldn't want to be a landscaper at Mikey V's. I I because he's got his eye on everything and he's so detail oriented yeah, that I do think problem. it's gotta be a very and and I appreciate you admitting that Mikey V. I well, really demand excellence, kind of like I do, Bob. I mean, that's that's there's nothing wrong with that. But here, you, here's the difference. Though. There is the a difference. difference. Is I, I'm very cordial. I'm very nice and cordial. What do you mean? I'm not cordial. Yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, not all. Not all. I, the time, Joe. Joe, I do think that sometimes you you like. I truly <laughs> believe that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Like I I think sometimes too that like Joe's not even Joe's got a really big heart. Like he really does. I think sometimes Huge Joe heart. doesn't even he doesn't Huge even heart. realize at times if he is being like like. I don't even want to say the word rude because it's not rude. Uh, it's not rude. It's the more demanding type, you know, like something that Joe would always do. And it's because he gets excited. Like a server will come with like appetizers and like before the server can even get to the table, Joe will go in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, in the middle. <laughs> and, and he's not, he's not <laughs> doing that like to be rude by any means, but you could see why they go be like, before you get to the table, just, in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, in the well, middle. The restaurant's not a good example because I worked in restaurants my whole life. So when oh, I oh, here we go, not doing me. Would you prefer we use drive up ATMs as the example, Joe, <laughs> instead? I mean, listen, I, I just I I hold myself to a level of excellence and that that I think should be pertained to the average person. And I it just drives me nuts. I saw something the other day. We were in where were we? We were in uh, Nantucket. We were in Nantucket, I think. And we're in this little. Bo- no, I know where it was. I was in Lake Tahoe. OK, I was in Lake Tahoe, went to go grab breakfast before the first round. OK, I go. The hostess sits me down. I go inside the table. I'm sitting there. There is a server. I don't know where she is, but there's a bus or somebody sitting there and they're looking right at me and they see that I'm sitting there and I'm looking around for someone to come and address the table and they look right at me. They see that I'm there and they go back on their phone and they're on their phone in the restaurant. And I was like, Bob, I was so frustrated because I'm like, I just, it's part of my, my bad side is like I, that manager in me comes out and I'm like, this is just not good. But like, I had to say something. And and sometimes, yes, I agree. I should just bite my lip and not say anything. But those years, kind of Joseph, things. That's yeah, a big, but Bob, it's just, it's not okay. But it's that like, right there is a big, that's a big step. That's a big step. It's not, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I try to be nice to everybody. Mikey V knows this. I'm a nice person. But sometimes I, I just I will this. not deal with incompetency. Well, Bob, you're a little bit blinded sometimes. You like to see things from your own shade of gray. Yeah? But that's that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I, I just <laughs> you're right. He's neither here nor there. He's right. He's neither here nor there. You Keep like to cause you like you like animosity when I go out too, because you paint pictures with blurred lines and you love to create your own narratives and things and then Pre- reconstruct pretzel. it. Pretzel. I disagree. Pretzel. Yeah, pretzel, pretzel job. You don't want to see pretzel. whatever you want to do, job. but it's it's Big he loves pretzel he loves pretzel he job. loves to watch me get into things and he just be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take that. I might give you, yeah. oh, I might give you. Do you see what Joey did? It's like it's just it's like his favorite past. <laughs> time so mikey v i think he sees things a little bit more objectively and 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 quite frankly he will call me on my shit when i'm when i'm due but bob it's always you're always looking to get me in you know in into some kind of pickle or some shit like that because you love that i don't bob, know what you're, absolute, bob, i don't know what you're talking bob, about bob come on bob, i don't bob, know <laughs> look bob, bob, Bobby, here's bob, the deal bob bob you thrive on chaos if the shoe you're fits a, bob you where thrive on chaos you don't I, i'm an entertainer and and the, the, I'm an entertainer, and and the yeah, show. I'm not saying you're not. I'm not saying the, you're not. The, we still need to bring up these issues that 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 come on the show. And here's the deal: when when it comes back on me, I take my lickings with the venue. You, do. you don't think I'm still you hearing do. the Venicini thing? Yeah, but you said that it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to fabricate something <laughs> when you. True that on the podcast like you can't run away from that bob fair down what did you do you did it the other day when you facetime me and i never noticed it and again it's it's mikey v paying attention to detail and when he did it i understood it i was like yeah he's right like he did the thing of me going back into the kitchen when i wanted more food what did you say that i do you did an impression of me when i realized i fucked up or did something stupid you said that like i'll turn to like joe or like somebody and like 
you did it, it you had to be hammered then mikey v because you did a whole impression i was crazy how i like confirm with somebody else that like i did i'm like did i do that or something like that oh yeah 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 you know what i'm talking yeah, about bobble 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 do something and he'll know it's fucked up but it's like he needs to get vindication he needs confirmation of vindication he needs confirmation from a third party to to like convince himself that yeah he really fucked it up so come on. yeah yeah I did that didn't I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that, that Mikey V is pretty good that with the impersonations I will say I wanted to yeah bring- yeah. Yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah 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 that's on me that's <laughs> I wanted I wanted to bring something up because there's there's two topics that, that we actually are going to be having. So- <laughs> Yo, Perez, <laughs> do you want? That's, we that's have, fantastic. We have Matt Perez coming in here tonight. He's making cameo. He's in a five star hotel right oh now. This my guy did God, no this guy is hey, living buddy. lavishly. Do you believe? Do you believe this guy? <laughs> Yo, Perez, we so what's he snacking Perez on? What's he snacking big on? Bob the sports. What, what are you eating, by the way? Uh, sour Pitch Kids popcorn. He's eating Sour Patch oh Kids gosh. flavored popcorn. Do you believe that, Mikey B? <laughs> Do you believe that? I mean, that's I mean, that's a special kind of snack right there. I've never even heard of that. I never, I didn't even know that existed. So Perez, there you go. Perez, uh, he checked into the hotel. Here, you want to take a bite for a sec? He checked into the the, <laughs> with the hotel and like it's a five star hotel, so they they see everything, they remember you and everything. So they had him at like the VIP list with <laughs> my cousin's hotel. So Fat Perez, everybody recognizes him. So he comes back into the hotel after we checked him. We go to dinner. He comes back, and the lady was like, "Welcome back, Mr. Stubby. Really good to see you." And it's Fat <laughs> Perez just walking through with like a bucket hat. <laughs> it's, 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 it's it's absolutely unbelievable. I tell you what, he enjoys the amenities. He, he, he takes full advantage of I mean, the you, you have to. You have to. You have and they to. gave me a robe. Why would I not use it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm a big believer in using the hotel robe if it's provided. You have you, to. You have to. You know what we did yesterday, too? And it's, it's so much better than a sauna. The steam room steam is great. so much better than the sauna. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's it different. You get you get a much much heavier sweat. That's for sure. You really feel invigorated when you come out of the steam. Like taking a steam is like it's like you feel like you just did an hour of cardio coming out of the steam. Bear down to the end just, of June. The next challenge, he's gonna have a peloton in the steam room. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna be, be seeing you know, his 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 overall statistics will be while he's doing it in the steam. I can see it right now. He'd have like the goggles on. Can you imagine that? I also think um, from a steam versus sauna, like if you're if you're with a couple buddies or at least one buddy, like the steam provides a just a just a hair of privacy in a small room sitting together with very little on. Where a sauna is just clear as day that you both are sitting there with a towel over you, you know? See, I, I wore my bathing. I bought, I wore my swim trunks in the steam room and then these guys were all naked with the towel over them. I I, I I think, think I think, no, I think uh, swim trunks is acceptable. I think that's acceptable. Go on there. Is that, is that, see, I I don't know if I, I didn't know if I was doing it wrong, Mikey. I I think that's acceptable in Europe. I mean, you're supposed to be naked, but in the United States, I think it's acceptable. I I mean, Bob showed up in the steam room with. Right, right. (laughs) You're out of line. You're out of line. You're out of line. All right. Hey, I'll let you guys get back to it. We'll let you get back to your Sour Patch flavored popcorn. I'm going to go lay in this heavenly bed. (laughs) There is a vaporizer. Love you. Love you, Nick. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mikey says that he loves you, and Perez says, love you too. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a word from our sponsor. Folks, as we all know, mental health is one of the most important things out there, and you got to do whatever you got to do to make sure that the mind and the body is right. And there's no better way to do that than betterhelp.com. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat online therapy sessions. So if you don't have to see anybody on camera, if you don't want to, you don't have to go into an office. It's easy and it's affordable, much more affordable than in-person therapy. You can be matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. I know for me, it's always good to talk to somebody. It's always good to air it out, especially when that person is a professional. And with betterhelp.com, you can do just that. Not only can you do that, but 
Starting now, our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash BDS. Again, 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash BDS to get 10% off your first month. Take care of your body. Speak to somebody. Take care of your mind with betterhelp.com. We went to Rayo's the other night. The big ticket finally moved to LA. And so we had two things. We had the big ticket moving back to LA. We had the Jets birthday that he did not let any of us know about because um, he doesn't want his birthday well, to be when celebrated. Was, when was that? Sunday. Yesterday. See, I have a problem with that because I would have absolutely liked to have wished him a happy birthday. And I get what he's doing. I understand what he's doing. But at the same time now, I feel like I uh, that was somebody. Yeah, but how was, are you the, supposed the to know, Mikey? I know that, but that would be something where I would like to know that because I Jet is the type of person I would absolutely s- take the three seconds out of my day to text him personally to wish him a happy birthday. He deserves that. He's a good guy. I'll do I would have one, done that. I'll do you one better, Mikey V. I got him in the yeah. waiting room right now. Good. And the reason that I got him in the waiting room and I wanted to oh, get in, I wanted to get into something, but I do have Jet in the way. I asked him to come by because – what bothered me and the jet, as we know, and for the folks that have seen him before, he just the beauty of the jet. He just he doesn't want to be bothered. He just wants to do his thing. He doesn't want to be celebrated. He's he's just he's the jet and we love him. He's a brother to us. He's family to us. We set up the birthday dinner for the jet. So we're golfing and near the end of the golf round, I said, right, we're going to go to Rez. He goes, yeah, I'm not going to go. I said, jet, it's it's your birthday dinner. Like you got to go. He's like. Mm-hmm. I just don't think I'm going to go. So to me, when Jet, when we're on a trip, and Joe, you could you could agree with this. When we're on a trip, when Jet says that he doesn't want to go to dinner, we don't bother him. And yeah, and you stay out of the you stay out of the way. You stay you, in your lane, and you just let him do his thing. Because otherwise, it becomes a, a big, a much bigger thing. Circumstances now, different set of circumstances now. Though it's a planned birthday dinner, it's, you know. Planned birthday dinner and to bail on the last minute, I think is I think it's terrible. He, he knew it was his birthday. We wanted to celebrate with him. It ended up being an incredible dinner. Yeah. Um, so I asked him to stop by because I do want to address it. Because uh, Joe, I don't think we've said, I don't think we've discussed it since. No. No, I mean, I don't listen. The bottom line is there's really not much to to discuss. I mean, you don't want to like force feed the guy to come to his own birthday dinner, you know. So then it's like. If he's not enjoying it, then there's no, you know, I, that's that's where I kind of come from. But yeah, would it have been nice to have him there? Absolutely. But you know, Jet likes to do his things and and the way that he likes to do them. And I, I don't know. I'm interested to see what he has to say. Are you going to call him on it on the pod? He's going to be pissed. Absolutely. I think it's got. I think you got to have the dialogue. I think you got to. I think you got to. I mean, look. Now this is where Jet good. gets so pissed off. And he's going to be livid. He's, he's not going to be. Did but you tell you know him why you're bringing him on? I told him I asked him to come on and I said that I wanted to discuss Sunday night and that was the, he didn't respond, but he just showed up into the waiting room. Well, let's bring him in and see what he has to say. <laughs> oh, well, let's bring him in. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen him before. He's, that he's is back. So, that is classic. <laughs> that is classic. Just classic. Yeah. Just classic. <laughs> classic so and we're going to be bringing him uh, in right now. He's coming. Oh, 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 he did the. Did he do Look the hair Look at the now? haircut from this the Jets. Yeah, this doesn't. Did you do the hair, Chad? Did I do the hair? Yeah. Did you? Did you? No. This, it's like a it's like a hat situation all day. So when you take the hat off, it looks solid. It looks pretty solid I think there. It looks Jeff. great. I think it looks great. Jeff. Is that it's Mikey happy, Bear Down Cuz? <laughs> happy Happy birthday, Jet. Happy Thanks, birthday, Bear Down. Bear happy Down. It's birthday. good. It's good to see you. I miss you. Good, I'm not being on the pod. I miss you. Wow. I miss you too. I miss he looks you super too, comfy. Man. Yeah. Well, you know, in the new digs, just trying to get settled in. Still, you know. Do I look uh, sunburnt, by the way? Uh, no, no. No, okay, because I am. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a little, there, maybe a little flushed. A little flushed. I was maybe. looking actually some of the videos that we shot today. I have the worst tan line in America going right now. <laughs> How do you think? Because Jet made his. Um, I guess you could say. Well, no, not not debut, but Jet had a yeah, big but- showing on the Brilliant Home Show in front of the camera today because we had a ticket behind the lens. I thought Jet was terrific. Yeah, he was really good. It was um, good to see him out there. Now, Jet. Here's yeah. what here, here's what I just wanted to have the dialogue, okay? And I know yeah. it might seem like I'm putting you on the spot, but I'm not trying to put you on the side. I just I like to get your perspective on these things because you know what, Jet? When you come out to dinner with us, whatever it may be, 
that you you add such a dimension like you really do you you bring a lot to the table and and, and you're at a point where people want to hear what you have to say it's fun but when we're on trips and stuff when you don't want to go to dinner nobody bothers you about it we don't bother and and we get that with the issue that i have is sunday for the birthday dinner that's a dinner that i think that you should be at yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll give you a couple of things. And I knew this was going to come up somehow. <laughs> but um, so, one, the first thing, the first thing we've got, this is probably the craziest week we've ever had so far in terms yeah. of filming for Bob Does Sports. So I ha- I'm currently uh, editing next week's video, but I don't have time to do the edits during the day because we're out filming every single day for the future episodes. So oh, yeah. every minute I get, I, I, I have to spend working on next week's on the episode coming out Thursday so that there's the time factor now the other issue is that I don't I don't care for birthdays like I don't like birthdays and I'm not I definitely don't like (laughs) hold on I don't like birthdays and I definitely don't like uh birthday dinners like what like I didn't even say I didn't even say like hey let me get a birthday I didn't even make usually the birthday dinner I I don't know if like your your friends make it or you make it but I never like okay to birthday dinner you were just like hey birthday dinner (laughs) i will say that (laughs) the jet should be able to decide who he wants at the birthday dinner in that in that regard i'll give him that much but jet i will i will admit i was a little nervous we took like mikey i don't know if you think you saw if you saw or not we did it like a toast to jet and I filmed it. And the only person to have a birthday dinner and not show up to his own birthday dinner. He's ours. Our guy. Our guy. Our guy forever. forever. This is to the Jets. Oh, wow. The Jets. Gone but not forgotten. And I was like, Bob, is it okay if I put this on Instagram? Because I was like, I think he might get like pissed because Bob's like the only guy who doesn't show up for his birthday dinner during his birthday dinner. But I put it up, and I, I I think Jed appreciated it, which is good to see. But yeah, we did, did you, miss you, Jed. Did you appreciate that? Jed? I, I did appreciate it. I, I thought it was funny, and I appreciated it. <laughs> but I don't. I, I hope everybody had a great a great dinner and a great time. But the thing for me, yeah, it's like why? <laughs> I, no, I'm 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 serious. Like everybody has has a birthday. Like it's not everybody's got one. <laughs> so. What's there to like? like it's not because an accomplishment to have a birthday. It's normal. I, I, Am I you wrong? Know what, you know what? I I tend to agree that after past the age of like twenty one, I, I do think like that the once you hit like a like if you hit thirty and then you hit thirty five and forty and fifty, <laughs> when you hit big milestones, but like to go out and like if like, like celebrate your like your thirty seventh <laughs> birthday, like for what reason? Yeah. So okay, so Why? it looks like I got it. No, now Bob probably loves it because he's a huge dinner guy. He's a, he likes celebrating. He likes. He I likes- I will say this. I will say this in Bob's defense. The only thing I ask for on my birthday yeah. is if if I'm going to do anything, I would love to go to a dinner. Bear down. Place. That's what I'm I not, like. To do. I'm not taking. But them in to terms mini- of the fan, I, I, no, I'm not. No fan. I'm not taking them. I'm not taking them to medieval times for the day. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted him to come to dinner because he means so much to me and and i just wanted to celebrate it a dinner with him you know what i mean mm, my yeah. birthday dinner was sunday night it like once you start at, like bringing courses in like i'm out so sunday night we went where or the first night thursday i don't know whatever it was we went to Vito's, which is the best and we just sat there and ate and to me that was better it wasn't even nobody like recognized that it was my birthday but to me that would have was a better dinner than getting all going out to rayos for a full thing also I, if you guys would have sung happy birthday to me, I would have just left and never come back. Either way, I, I'm not like, I don't, nobody wants to, nobody, I'm saying nobody wants, nobody wants to sit through a happy birthday. That's like the main thing. When I, I, sings happy birthday, I agree. I you agree. just sit there looking at them like, who's, when's this going to end? I don't have time. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That's, for, that's, yeah. for he, that's preposterous. So it's childish. Another it's, thing that we never, we never <laughs> talked about was we did the first episode for the Bob the Sports podcast oh, and, yeah. and Jet is in on the Bob the Sports podcast. So I planned to run the show for like an hour or so. And it was at the 40 minute mark that we started singing happy birthday to the Jet. He walked yeah. away. He walked off the show. <laughs> he he left. He just he was gone. So I just look at Jet and I'm like, I'm like, oh, maybe he's joking. He's gonna come back. 
he left. He just got up and he left. So we had to close the show down at that point. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. It was a good ending. It ended up being pretty good. But, 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 but don't you like, did you have any, like when you saw, you know, we were making the toast to you jet and the whole nine, did you have any, um, regrets not being there? I, well, I'll tell you this. I, I, um, if I didn't have work, like if, if, if there was like a free week or a free, whatever, I would have loved to go out and, and have a great time. But I, I could use my excuse of hating birthdays, which I do when I had work. I'm not, like, I, I, listen, I, th- the bottom line is I don't like birthdays. Everybody has one. And everybody's gonna be like, oh, the Jet hates, he hates birthdays. Just add it to the list. Like everybody, it, it's just a pop out. <laughs> to, like celebrate your birthday. Well, like, That's celebrate. Accurate. That's accurate. When you accomplish, <laughs> when you accomplish something, you can go celebrate. Being born, like ah. you celebrate your parents. I don't like, my parents should celebrate. Congrats. They, they made it happen. Not me. Yeah, oh, but very I feel insightful like, stuff. Yeah, that yeah, is. But but I, even even so when, on brand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, so it, it, brand. I know Mikey V. I know Mikey V knows where it feels me a little bit on this. Do you, Mikey V? Yeah, I, I mean, listen again. I enjoy like going out for dinner on my birthday, but I totally get like I do think like like and I I feel as though, but I don't want to say it because I don't want to be deemed like I don't want to go like in that direction. But I do feel some people are so over the top with the birthday. It's not even a yes. birthday. It's a birthday weekend. Yes. It's a birthday week. It's a, it's an entire string of fucking Who does celebrations. A birthday week? Like, like it's the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Day Parade and there's all these different portions to it. No, like I just think once you're past a certain age, like that's it. It's over. It's but done. There's really it. nothing to celebrate anymore. It's actually, it's actually miserable the older you get because the more things, more ailments and things of that nature but you know you i'll know, put it, i can I'll get put that it to you like this. Get yeah i'll put it to you like this there's nothing i hate more in this world than having eyeballs on me and when you are sitting at a birthday dinner there's just i you are the dinner like there's just people are just looking at you and talking about you i don't have time for that i don't want anything to do with that. <laughs> so, so it's not even funny like i'm being i'm serious so, I know you are. That's why I'm laughing. Yeah, because so, because I know you're dead serious. I'm saying God, like I don't, I don't need to be the center of of a, of a birthday dinner. Like everybody can do their thing. I didn't even tell. I only told Bob because I thought I was planning on not telling anyone it's my birthday. When I realized everybody was here, I was like, okay, like listen, I like I like getting like getting after it like once in a while and getting absolutely hammered with the boys. So I was thinking we would do something like that. Once I realized I had all the work, I was like, fuck it, fuck birthdays, fuck everybody. Okay. Um, <laughs> now, <I'm> just... <laughs> that was eloquently put there, Jack. Yeah, and only a way Jack can. Yeah. Jack was romance is being an asshole. Sometimes. But by the way, hold on. This trip that we just had, was I not on great behavior for the last? You were really yeah, well behaved. You were in good yes. spirits. You were in very yeah, good spirits. I was the, from day one. I said to Tick, I said, we're getting a great version of Jet. If this lasts for the course of three, four days, we are going to be in real good spirits. Because the trip prior, I was afraid of him. What the was trip, the trip prior? Well, not the trip no, prior. July the 4th. Was, I July was afraid 4th. of him. I, I was so scared of him. You didn't say a word, Bear Down. I was July so 4th. scared. He we just... picked him up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, when it happens, in, sometimes, you know how, like, they have, like, the athlete who, like, carries, like, his personal life onto the court? Yeah. So that happens. you. It happens. Yes. 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 Right, yes. one, one more thing that I want to ask you, okay? Because the last time it got so much traction, because, like, I do I'm think not, a, I do think a lot I'm of the stuff nervous. that Jet says, like at first, it sounds ridiculous. But then, like I'll go home and like I'll sit on it and I'll be like, he's got some truth to it. And the last thing that he said about people that are losing their fastball, when he said the Jerry Seinfeld thing, I know <laughs> like, Bear, it was the hardest I've ever seen Bear down laugh. <laughs> when he said Jerry Seinfeld was lo- lost his fastball, it sounds so outrageous, and nobody would ever say it. But then you do think about it, and like. I think there's a lot of some truth to what he says. So if people ask me to do like if Jack could do like a losing like a fastball segment on like a guy who's losing his fastball, just like do you have a new flavor of the month? Jet of of I know I'm putting you on the spot, but like do you have a new flavor? Yeah. of just like a guy that's like kind of lost his, his fastball. fastball. Yeah, well, or I wish you would have told me in advance because I got a list. <laughs> Jeez. Um, no, I'm kidding. I, I I've probably mentioned people that you've been losing their fastball. 
I'm trying to think off, off the top of my head. I'm not going to, the thing about it is like, it doesn't come out so often, but when you see somebody losing their fastball, you're like, it's, it's a big deal. You know what I yeah, mean? So I can't, yeah. I can't just throw them out. Like, they, they, you know, it's a dime a dozen, but when that fastball is starting to slow down, I'll call, I'll call it out. You know? I love that. I thought the Jerry Seinfeld thing was, hysterical. that's a fact that can't be argued. Like if you, like he, I, when was the last like Seinfeld special or joke or, or thing you laughed at like Jerry Seinfeld makes like Joe like the classic like knock knock jokes he's not funny I will say whoa like, whoa 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 yeah it, whoa. it's Let's it's take it's it tough, easy a little it's, bit it's testy waters it, I, it is I know people are gonna get upset I know, I that, think that's it. a big I think much to say he's <laughs> not funny the guy is one of the most renowned comedians of all time maybe his stuff isn't as relevant as like that's stuff so now like Dave Chappelle and these guys or but. You know who never had a fastball to begin with is Kevin Hart. That guy stinks. Whoa! That. That's I, a, to finish, I, I'm I, not a, I, I, I watched I'm, his I'm comedy top. thing. It's not funny. It's oh. over the top. It's exaggerated. It's it's it's. I, I laughed. I went to to watch Jerry Seinfeld live in a comedy, you know, a live comedy show back in the day in Vancouver. He was very fucked. Very very funny. Kevin Hart, it's 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 like push down your throat. I I'm not wow. a fan of that. I see. I find that I to think, be a very hot. I don't. Hot I, don't take. I don't think Hart is very funny either. I have to agree with Joe. I do not think Kevin. I under, There's a lot of hype around this Kevin Hart, and I just I don't know. I don't see it. I don't think he's that. I think funny. he's okay. I, I think he's rode his. You know the. I think he's rode into the night with with a lot less talent than a lot of other people out there, and and for whatever reason, I mean. Good for him. He's made a living, but I, I, I'm not a fan of that guy at all. I don't think he's that great, I, if I'm being honest. But, but yet to say that the legend that signed, you know, I I, I crossed the line. I'm sorry, I crossed the line. But but <laughs> but, he, but he has lost. He's he has fair lost. enough. I'll say you can say he's uh, lost his fastball, but say he's not. But fun. you know what? We all lose our fastball at some point, you know. So, is, some people yeah. never have a fastball to start with, that Jet. Is, that is you just true. be grateful that you have a fastball to begin with, and hopefully, you know, it can entertain some people for some time. And I hear uh, Sandy Koufax still throws ninety. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, uh, Jet. I'm glad that we could get it. And a lot of times, it's good to come out here and, and air it out on the show. I mean, I know I feel better, and um, I think you feel the same way that you did coming into this. And um, it's great to see the Jet. It, it really is. is great he looks to see good the jet. for it me. Is. I, I never seen no, so I don't see. I don't great. see Bear Down either. I see these guys all the time. And we'll I, love there, yeah. I love them. I love them. There is there and tickets doing a tremendous job. Oh, and, tickets and we, been unbelievable. We love the ticket, but um, there was it was so special sending over the files to the Jet and having the Jet on the show. It was just was special. You know that he's there. And again, tickets done a tremendous job. That I do really miss you. I I miss just even the the back and forth the. You know, not even that you came on all the time, but just even sending Jet the files. But with that being said, with Bob the Sports, there was just too much for him to do. Yeah, I mean, full disclosure. I mean, the ticket is he's doing. He is. I'm dedicating more to Bob the Sports. He has so much. Like even if you look at the YouTube videos, they're just better now because I didn't have the the bandwidth to. I it was getting mm. to the point where I couldn't do anymore. So he's crushing it, and the show's keeps growing. So it's like who you know, it's good. Well, I'm, also, I'm happy according to you, Jet, at the same time, you are a fraud. So <laughs> I'm a confirmed. Confirmed fraud. <laughs> okay, well, there, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Jeff, we appreciate you stopping by, pal. Yeah. It is always a pleasure, always enjoyable, and let's sing "Happy Birthday" as we send Jet. <laughs> <laughs> as we send Jet. No, I'm out here. Right. Right. There, there he goes. goes. He's Such gone. Such a beauty. Such a beauty. Folks, we need to interrupt the Real the Dump Show to let you know about the one, the only, the AG One. Coming out of the boys and girls from Athletic Greens, you talk about something that I'm taking every goddamn day. You're talking about AG1 from Athletic Greens. Pop AG1 into a strawberry banana smoothie every morning the way that Bob does, and then you could go ahead and thank me later. With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, and more. Start the day right. It gives me a little bit of a pep to my step, keeps me healthy, keeps me clean, and most importantly for me, supports gut health. With the way that I eat, Lord knows that I need it. AG1 as well is a small micro habit with big benefits. It's one thing you can do every single day to take great 
care of yourself. Your subscription with Athletic Greens comes with a year's supply of vitamin D, which is so important to add in these winter months or even southern months where we get some sunlight and we don't get as much sunlight. Regardless of when you're taking it, rain, shine, or snow, Athletic Greens is a no-brainer. Now, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and Five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash dumb to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. You heard it here first. Pop their AG1 into a strawberry banana smoothie five, six days a week. You can thank me later. Something that I just wanted to touch on because I don't know how I let this one slip by me and this came up at rails it's such a tremendous dinner joe i mean that that is when i'm it was special in yeah. my glory it, it really and you was. know mikey v facetimed us i i really wished he would have been there because if there was if there was someone that i could have picked to be we had this really great round table that you know the manager she set bob up with the best table in the house it reminded me of when we went to new york and <sighs> if there was one person that i could have had there if i could have just chosen one person it would have been mikey v teddy would have been right there too would have been a 1a 1b kind of thing but to have mikey v there it's just the, the one dinner that i will never forget is is rayo's in new york was you just it both. was just like it was like in a in a it being in a movie like in goodfellas yeah. or something it was just so so epic and 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 we wish we would have had him there it was the only thing that i think would have made it better no bob Totally, totally. And I, I think that like ticket just moved out to LA. Teddy's about to move out to LA. And Perez is going to be here all the time just with the Bob the Sports stuff. I'm at I'm at my absolute happiest when all of the boys are there like together and stuff like that. If we had Mikey V in LA and it's just not doable with Mikey V with the family, it, Mikey V is like the one piece of where I would never leave LA my entire life. <laughs> Mikey V is the only reason I go back to the East Coast now, yet alone Florida. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I appreciate that. I do feel like when you get me, I think that people don't understand, like they see what they see from the show and from the content and the Instagram and the Twitter, whatever. But when you get me in my prime zone is when you get me out dressed up for a dinner. When you get me dressed up and out for a dinner, that is really where uh, I believe that I shine the brightest. If I'm going to just be honest, not patting myself on the back, but where you want me, my wheelhouse, <laughs> suit and tie, sitting down at dinner and ordering martinis, steaks, ticket, different type of foods, whatever. If you could go ahead and I, I asked, it's one of my favorite clips of all time. So subtle, yet so beautiful. The video that I took of Mikey V when he doesn't see that I'm filming him at Rayo's <laughs> and he is just in all his glory, just chowing oh, down and just open his martini. It, it's it's he's got like that big uh he had the big ring on or yeah, like yeah, the the giant ring. ring. Oh, it was true. But I, I will say I think we all appreciate just and that's why I like the top fives and stuff are fun because we all appreciate. Like I love food. I I absolutely love food. Part of it is because it was part of my business for so long, but also it just there's nothing to me that I would rather do aside from watching like a big time sports game or match with the boys than go to a dinner. And I think yeah. we're all the same like that. I so, think so it's just yeah. there's this un unfiltered just joy when you when you gather around and you just you don't have to worry about anything. You're not caring about anything. And you're just in the moment, just enjoying just what is becoming a memory. It's just, it's so special. And, and, and Mikey V is the same thing as, as me. So I, I, and, and Bob the same, Bob could go for dinner every night. I, I Bob, Bob loves it so much, but it's yeah, it does. a special thing. It's special. It's, it's, yeah. you can't put a price tag on it. It's, you know, I don't even know what, how else to, to, to phrase it. It's just, it's unreal. And and we wish you would have been there, Mikey V. We're going to have to make another trip out to New York very soon. I mean, uh, Yankees playoff game. That'll happen. Um, it has That'll to happen. happen. Audi club has to happen. We got to do, um, where was that place that you guys went the last time Billings. where I didn't go? Not, well, Billy's is, a, is an, uh, uh, no, no brainer, but the restaurant you went to with the Cuban. Frankie and, and, Frankie and, Frankie and, and Johnny's. 
Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind checking that spot out. That looked real special. Best, spot. Some, of the best special home, spot. some of the best home fries you're going to find. I, I mean, <laughs> these things. Yo, I was – you talk about me and my glory. I, I mean, Bear Down, you saw me eating those home fries. You ever seen anything yeah. like that? It no, was no, tremendous. No. Um, one thing that I wanted to get to before we go into the top five, because I, I – and that's where I was going with the Rails thing. I couldn't believe that I let this slip. And I remember seeing it. I just – I don't know where my headspace was at. I've never seen somebody take on a Joey Coldcut's impression outside of his evil laugh. And we played the clip the other day. I think Ticket might have brought it up of, of Bear Down impersonating. Something I don't think Bear Down gets enough credit for. His impersonations. He did a Dickie V for me the other day. It, it's unbelievable. Bear Down does an impression of Joey Coldcut's when he talks, when Cutsy talks to his Instagram it's one ah, of the funniest, so best cutsy impressions. I'm not talking about my impression. I'm talking about how good it is when he does that. I just, this, I it, fucking love it. I I've watched Nikki Smigs do a, a cutsy, and he does do a good one. And he, Nikki Smigs is the master at it. Bear Down does the best Joey Cole cuts I've I've ever seen, and a few people have done it. Take it if you could just go ahead and fire that clip of Bear Down impersonating Joey Cold Cuts on his Instagram. I just think it's absolutely tremendous. Good morning, Instagram. It's your boy, Cutsy. And let me tell you, last night your boy was on one. But today is a new day. And today we're going to be playing at Cherry Ridge, Chestnut Oak, Tremont, Cranberry River in Jupiter. And it's just going to be special. We're out here. We're going to be filming. And your boy, Cutsy, is just going to bounce back in a major way. And for those of you who don't believe that... <laughs> Joe, how many times were we watching that after dinner? Oh, we, were, they, we were then, quote, the country club of the cherry berry oak. No, <laughs> he said we we're going to uh, tremendous. chestnut cherry oak month, <laughs> Fairview, cranberry river. It was unbelievable. <laughs> in Until Jupiter. Throwing, just kept throwing nouns in front of it. It was, I think we, I, we, we, let, we were the second last table to leave the restaurant. And we were watching it. And then it. when we left the restaurant, we stood outside the restaurant for like 10 minutes oh, re-watching this stupid clip, which is just... Man, wait. Do I sound that ridiculous, Bob? Jo Joe, it, it, is, it is so spot on. And I'll be curious what the fathers say in the comments, but I, I don't think there's any denying. It's the best Katsi impression I've ever heard. It's unbelievable. And then the laugh at the end. Um, I do just... <laughs> the laugh is so also good. Do, that's why I, I won't do it at 8 30 reservation at Rayos. We weren't ready to leave, but you, you know, when you're the last ones, I have a problem with the 8 30. The difference between a six o'clock reservation, and 6 30 reservation, or even seven compared to that 8 31, because we were having a ball. I mean, Joe, could we not have just stayed there all night? I, I wasn't ready to go, but I mean, you're we the were last there one over there. three hours, Bob. I wasn't ready to go. I, I mean, yeah. I was. Yeah, having... I could. I could sit at the table like that. On a, on a night like that, I could sit at the table for four hours. And people, Five, wanna, I, I, I could easily. People want to then go, you know, to another bar after another. But That's if you're the at the table, what? Why? Why leave? Why? Uh, yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. You got everything there. You know. I agree. Um. Okay. Now, with that being said, let's head on over to our top five. Um, love the top five that we did this week. I think it's really good. Um, Joe, I think we're going to do the one that you had next week. I think is good. Um, but for this one, we're going to do top five sporting venues. I think we dropped the ball a little bit on the last week with the top five. We did the top five. There was a lot of confusion with the French fries. Uh, you know, can you bring tater tots, all that? This is a, a no doubter top five here. Top five sporting venues. Um, and if, if you fellas don't mind, I'd like to go ahead. I think I'm ready to get us started if we're okay with that. Yeah. Past, no or, past or present, correct? Bob, we said, um, oh, I thought you were talking about just the golf, but yeah, yeah. I, I, okay. I'm, a, I got no issue with that. Okay. Yeah. Joe, you okay uh, with that? I did present, but that's fine. That's, that's, okay. that's fine. Okay. okay. Um, all right. For me, number five and. I hate these team more than anything in my life. I can't stand them. I hate everything oh. about them. I, I really do. I hate them. Um, I got to get Fenway Park at five. I mean, we went there. I went there for the first time a couple months ago. It, it's an, an unbelievable place, place to see a game. 
it's people it's are special. so yeah, it really is. It's I mean, people are on it's like you're on top of the field. People are so tuned into the game, they're so into it. Um, I gotta give them the nod there at five. Um, number four, I'm going to Number four, I'm going to go ahead and give to Cameron Indoor Stadium. Um, I think college basketball wise, I mean, they just, it's such a special talk about being on top of the quarter, on top of the field. These guys are on top. They only seat a select few. I don't think it seats a lot. Um, so a Duke basketball game and how loud it is. Give me Cameron Indoor Stadium at four. Number three, give me Yankee Stadium. Um, and I think, Baird, and I could be wrong. We'll find out in your top five. I almost feel like you asked old or present because of that i'm a diehard yankee fan bear down's a diehard yankee fan but i'll be the first to admit the new stadium is so much more corporate-esque um and it's the old stadium just had so much to it so much history and and it's just different um but yeah you got to give yankee stadium at three number two madison square garden um and and I tell you when the Knicks are playing well, or even the Rangers, like watching the mm-hmm. NHL playoffs, like I was shocked at how just incredible the Ranger fans are. When a New York team is good, that place is rocking. And not only that, for a concert, mm-hmm. Billy Joel rocks that place. I mean, even the, a concert, Madison Square Garden is great. Give me Madison Square Garden a two. And the number one, a place that I went to for the first time as well. Uh, just so iconic, so much history. It, it hits you from the time you walk in. $2 sandwiches, they stick to their roots. Give me the Masters, Augusta National, um, Augusta National at one. And I will tell you this, fellas, I, there's a lot of times where I said, ah, shit, I think I could have done this or that. I love my list. I really do. Good luck. Good luck. Um, I always say, if you love your list, you should say it. You guys always ride me because I say I love my list, but yeah, but if to you be like honest, your list, like you should go, you should, you should, you should declare it. Yeah, but but you'll say it before to where sometimes I like to do the top five to where, like for example, when I put Hazelnut at five, you guys proved to me really quickly that that just wasn't the play. So sometimes I got to feel you guys out. Um, so yeah, there's my list there, um, and let's send it over to Cutsy and finish down with Mikey V. All right, I got um, I got five. I mean. Some of these places are so iconic. It's hard to 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 kind of label them one to five. It's really personal preference. Um, but I'm going to go first and foremost with the big house number five. Um, I think it's just from, and I know Mikey V, you, you're, you're against Michigan and this and that, but just like the presence that that place invokes, the biggest college stadium in in college football, the the, the, the history there. That's got to be just something special. I, I, I've yet to watch a game there, but anybody I've ever talked to, I talked to the Brandt brothers. They said it's unbelievable environment. And maybe Mikey V will go watch Ohio state play there, but I'm going to put that at number five at number four. I'm going to put Fenway park. Um, and again, I know you guys hate the Red Sox, but it was my first time in Boston. First and foremost, unbelievable city, just, just great. Just a great city, clean, historic, great just just good food um and then when we went to fenway park it's i'm not a huge baseball guy you guys know this there's something special when you walk in those doors you feel the americana you feel the history that that place just exudes it's unbelievable number four give me fenway park at number three um i'm gonna go augusta um i think it's just, it's, it's just, it's so classic. It's so just revered. It's like people die just to go and step on a blade of grass to watch, to watch something like that. And it has so much, it, it just holds so much presence that like the masters could never be anywhere else aside from Augusta. Like it would, you'd have to cancel the masters if Augusta got like, if something happened to it or it burnt down or something like the masters just could not continue because that has to happen in Augusta when there's a place that is so important. I think you have, you have to put it on the list. Number two is going to be a place that is dear to my heart is Lambeau field. Exactly. Lambeau field is one of the original stadiums it's untouched they've done renovations they've put in the packers hall of fame but they've really remained the core of the stadium as it was when it was built with it's so much history and folklore and just tradition there and watching a game there's everybody's just 
it, it's just, it's special. Lambeau Field, number two. And number one, I got to put Madison Square Garden. I, I just, if you think of a building, if you think of a stadium, I mean, you're hard pressed to not know Madison Square Garden, the best concerts, the best sporting events. I mean, it sucks lately that the Knicks and the Rangers, well, the Rangers have been good lately, but you know, I remember growing up when the Knicks were good and, you know, Spike Lee was at the game and Reggie Miller was at, like, it's just, it's a special, special venue. So I'm going to put it at number one. Um, I, 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 I don't know if I love my list as much as Bob, but I think it's a pretty solid list. I got Mike B. Any issues over there? Uh, other than the big house. No, yeah, he no hated the big house pick, but. That's, I, um, I don't care. I have no issue with Lambo. I have no issue with Fenway at all, but the big house for me. Is- <laughs> with that being said, a little bit of drum roll here, Giuseppe D. Let's bring it on over to Mikey V to close this thing down. Number five, I'm with Bob uh, and Cuts. You had it as well, but I have it in the five hole. Uh, I hate them. Uh, I loathe them. I think their fans are just uh, number one. They're spoiled now because they, they win in every sport and it's just, it's, it's, it's unbearable, but you, you can't, you can't not put Fenway park in a top five of sporting venues. You just can't. So they're at five. Yeah. You, it's the best ballpark left in the league. It's the best old ballpark left in the league. I don't think it's close. Um, Fenway park at number five, number four, college football, the Rose bowl. Pasadena, California. Give me the Rose Bowl. I think tradition of the Rose Bowl. I think the Rose Bowl is the last bowl game that really means something if you're not in that final four for the playoff. I think the playoff in a lot of ways ruined the importance and the magnitude of a lot of these other bowl games. But I think the the Rose Bowl, the Rose Bowl parade, the parade of roses, the building itself, the Coliseum, you know, I just think that that venue is just so iconic and will always be iconic a beautiful venue and uh you know as an ohio state fan i get to see them usually play there often because that's where the big 10 champion will play if they're not in the national championship so the rose bowl for me at four is easy uh number three for a non-golf fan like a non-major golf fan for me the only tournament that i absolutely will not miss any portion of and i'm not even a golfer is the Masters. And it's because of the way Augusta National looks, the way it's portrayed on television, the camera shots they get of it, the music they mm-hmm. get for it. Yep. It is one of the most stunning and gorgeous places on the planet. I would love to actually be able to go there one day just to <laughs> see it in person. But my God, is it stunning enough on television that I will not miss uh, a moment of the Masters. Augusta at three. Number two, give me the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, the history of the garden, Ali Frazier, Frank Sinatra, the Knicks, the Rangers. I mean, the list goes on and on of the historic uh, boxing matches, everything, the artists who've been through there. I mean, it's just, it's, it's the Mecca, the world's most famous arena, the garden at number two. And then number one, yes, Bob, you're 100% correct. The reason I asked that question, past or present, I want old Yankee stadium. Number one, old Yankee stadium was a different animal. The energy in that building was a different type of animal. It was, it was literally like, uh, you know, pulsating through your entire body. If you were at a Yankee game in the, in, in the fall playoff time in old Yankee stadium, it was like, you felt that the building could very well collapse on you. That's how insane you just watch the reruns on. Yes. And you could see it looks different. It looks more intense the way that it's, the seating was and the bleachers and everything. It was special. And the amount of banners that they hung in that building, let alone the history in that building, the players that have come through there, the best players in baseball history. In the old Yankee Stadium at one, that's my you, list. You know what I always remember, Mikey, is at the especially at the old Yankee Stadium, it doesn't hit it, it doesn't hit the same way it did at the when you would be in the concourse going into the game, you're in the concourse, and then you find your section. And when you go through there and they're having batting practice and everything just opened up. Yeah. Th- yeah. It was the it's best. not like that. Everything's kind of like really open. You can kind of see it as soon as you walk in the building. Yeah. It's a it's different, different thing. Um, phenomenal stuff, fellas. Phenomenal. Been a doozy of a week for everybody involved. Paul Cafone, if you're listening, please keep pushing hard on that bear cave. <laughs> and I'll tell you this right now. Um, and we didn't mention it prior. Everything's gearing up. 
for football season right now. It is going to yeah, be. Yeah, it's going to be unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I've never been so excited for football season. It's going to be incredible. The only place to do football season is with prize picks, okay? The boys, you don't have to space it. Just the boys on prize picks. Get you a free $100. Daily fantasy football. We're going to be riding it the entire time. It's a special app. The whole thing, that everything that you could do on there, ride with the boys. Promo code the boys. Get you a free $100. Prize picks. Download it. Get it. Ride with us. All eyes on football season. Joey D, Mikey V, appreciate you boys. I love now, you boys. Honorable mention? Yeah, I was going to say, I think we missed it last week. I'm curious. My dad mentioned that to mentions. me. I, yeah, yeah, he did. Um, honorable mention for me would be Wrigley. Yeah, That's Wrigley's a good one. A good one. Yeah. Wrigley's a good one. Wrigley's 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 Wrigley, a good one. honorable mention. Joey D? I have one that I, I, I flirted putting on the list. Um, it was going to be instead of the big house is Churchill Downs for the Kentucky Derby. Special, I think is special. another really, really good special. one. Um, Very good and, one. And to be honest, it's like the Kentucky Derby's just become an event in and of itself that people don't want to miss at Churchill Downs. That that would be my, my honorable mention. I'm going to put this one because I've been to it several times and in the particular situation in which I've been to it, I've been to Beaver Stadium at State College in Pennsylvania for whiteout games at night. I have never been to a more hostile, I want to say hostile, but also I never feared for my life more at a sporting event than when people are jumping up and down in Beaver Stadium at Penn State at night during a whiteout. It is truly one of the most remarkable out-of-body experiences as a sports fan that's that I've really ever one. experienced. It's insane there. Insane. I would like to see that. Yeah, that's something. It's I, wild. Yeah, wild. I would like to see that. Um, all right, fellas, tremendous episode once again, week by week. If you guys could just do us a favor for the folks watching, like, comment, subscribe, be a part of it. We love you guys. We appreciate you. Mikey V, Joey Coldcuts. Till next time, that's another edition. The Brilliant Dumb Show.